Hey there, it's your Avon Lady, Chris Arnold, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you my all matte makeup look featuring our cashmere collection from Avon, our um, some of our new products from our partnership with the Creme Shop, and um, a new um, favorite of mine from Kathy Cat. And um, so I'm going to start with um, our cashmere complexion uh, long wear concealer. And this is the shade uh, Cheesecake that I use. So just in case you're wondering on shades, obviously your shades will vary in a lot of these. And I just kind of pat that in there. I always kind of pat around the eye area because I don't really want to um, pull or tug. And I do want it to kind of settle evenly to give like an even finish. Do you have a little bit of a, a texture there, we'll call it, <laughs> in the under eye area. Um, but I just want to kind of blend out some of the, the shadow under my eyes, both from um, dark pigmentation under the eyes and also just the shadows created um, by where my cheekbone sits up under the eyes. Um, next up, I'm going to use our um, complexion blending brush to help apply the uh, Cashmere Complexion Longwear Foundation uh, in Streusel is the shade that I use. Now, this comes with, um, it actually has a rather unique kind of bulky doe foot applicator there. And the way I use it is um, generally I do just... Um, you know, put a few swipes in the area that I want to cover. And then I use, I always start in the middle and blend out because I don't need as much around the outside. Um, in fact, you don't want to use as much around the outside because that's what gives that kind of mask look is if you don't blend out the edges. So see, I start in the middle there and blend that out. Uh, and then I can take and put a couple stripes there and then I just come back in with my brush and blend that in. <laughs> here one of my pups kind of creeping in the bathroom here. That's Benny kind of wandering around checking things out down there. <laughs> All right and then we'll do the same on the other side. So you see kind of a little goes a long way. I just use a few swipes and I'll do a little bit you know for the forehead. I don't know why I closed that up all the way. And like I said you just want to blend it out at the edges and especially at the jawline uh, just so you don't get that. All right, and then I actually just need one um, and as with most things, wherever you touch first with your applicator, that's going to give you the highest concentration of product in that spot, which is why I go from the center out and not across because I don't want more product over here than on this side. All right. And if I, if I wanted to go back in and do a little bit more under the eye, I could come back in with the other end of the blending brush here. Um, it's also really good for blending around those tighter areas. And I might come back in and just do a little pat where those deeper creases are. That kind of um, blends it in and kind of softens the look of those. Um, so then I'm going to take, um, I've got a couple different brushes that I use with this. This is the Creme Shop. This is the Brightening Banana um, Finishing Powder. You can use it um, if you like to do um, baking with your color, it does come with the, the little poof. <laughs> um, but I like to use a brush for my powder <laughs> and I will brush out um, those little dots that I got because you know, you got the dots in here and that's what was on the powder. So I like to tap um, just a little bit into the lid and I use the round end for this and the round end has accumulated one of my hairs there. So we'll take that off. And I don't do a full like layer of 
finishing powder, I just do a very light dusting. And again, just kind of sweep it gently under the eyes there. And this just helps with kind of the soft matte look. And I just go kind of in a downward motion because of course, like most people, I have those little fine baby hairs on my face. So I like to like smooth those down. So that's the Creme Shop. And the, the fun thing about this, that's one of the things about the Creme Shop products is that they always have a little bit of fun in them. This one has a very light banana scent. Um, so obviously not anything that is um, banana scented powder is not anything that's going to um, make my makeup look any better. It's just a little bit, a little bit of fun, like I said, just something fun about that. Um, so next up, I'm going to use the new um, Kathy Cat Shadow Gaze Matte Color Sticks. Um, I have the shades Buff and Mauve. I'll show you those shades. This is the Buff. That's kind of a, a nude shade there. And then I have the Mauve, which is a little bit more purpley. And these are also very, um, you know, I like soft matte. I like not um, not a flat matte. These have got, you know, they've, they've still got some dimension to them um, and they apply super easy. You basically just draw it on like a crayon and then blend it out. So use the buff just to kind of even out the color up under my brow because I'm going for a pretty simple look. Um, when I'm going for matte, I'm not going for, you know, for a crazy, you know, lot of definition, lot of color. I'm just going for, um, for just a basic simple look. And then uh, I'm going to use the mauve. Again, just kind of color in where you want it. Um, over the lid, you don't have to be super precise because, of course, you're going to come back in and just blend that out. Um, and one great thing about these Shadow Gaze um, eyeshadow color sticks or matte color sticks is once you've blended it out and put it in place, it stays. It's there. It's there for the day. It's, it's pretty much there until you take it off because yes, I have gone to bed with them on and still had color the next morning. Um, and, and it just looks fresh and smooth. And like I said, it's not that flat matte. It doesn't have that, um, yeah, I don't even know, that, that, soft, that powdery look. It's just a very soft, no shimmer, no shine um, look. I'm gonna um, define the eye with the cashmere uh, cream, 24 hour cream, um, liner pencil <laughs> and this is the shade after dark so this is um it's it's kind of black um but also kind of purple or blue so it's not it's not a stark black it's a softer black and has a little hint of color to it um we do have this pencil in pitch black if you just want black but it's a nice creamy i always do my liner in short strokes because it's easier than trying to do a full straight line. And then I can go back in and just even that out. And I'm doing a pretty thin line just along the, the lash line and then a little bit underneath. Just to kind of give the, the lash line some definition. Um, but we do have this pencil in pitch black if you do like a true, true black. Um, we have, this is the, like I said, this is the uh, Midnight. I think I might have said the wrong color name earlier. This is Midnight. Uh, Midnight is a kind of purpley blue um, t tone to it. Um, After Dark has a brownish black. Um, and then I am drawing a blank on the name, but there's also one that is green. Um, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, finish off the eyes with my um, trusty handy dandy wash off waterproof mascara uh, which you know I might use like our love at first lash or our cashmere uh, mascara or even one of the Kathy cat mascaras if I'm looking for a bolder more you know just more in the lashes um, but for just a regular you know everyday just adding a little bit of polish to my look 
wash off waterproof is is fine and I'll just give that like a little sweep and a little wiggle just to make sure I get all of the ends because um, I do have nice long lashes they're just invisible without mascara and the final step here is the creme shop uh, my wand and only is what this is called and it's a liquid matte lipstick and this wears really really well I think this has become uh, my new favorite Um, it wears, wears really, really well, has a nothing there feel to it, and it's the, sh the shade Desert Retreat. Um, so that's kind of a mauve nude. A little bit of pink, a little bit of purple, a little bit of like taupey color. Just a good nude matte uh, lipstick. So that's my matte makeup look. Um, again, using the Cashmere Complexion um, Concealer and Foundation, the um, Kathy Cat Shadow Gaze. Um, matte color sticks for the eye color, um, the cashmere 24 hour uh, liner for the eyeliner, the cashmere 24 hour cream eyeliner, uh, wash off waterproof mascara, and the My Wand and Only from the Creme Shop. Oh, and I forgot the, um, the, uh, the banana, brightening banana powder there for my uh, matte look. So that's it. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon.